It was about 10 years ago, on a windy day. We were speaking about the American University of Armenia with Dr. Agbabian, Mr. Vartkez Barsam, and Dr. Harutun Armenian in my house in Los Angeles. It was during this conversation that the idea of launching a rural development program was born. The fundamental structures and personnel of the executive board of the program were developed with the help of Dr. Armenian, as well as the assistance of the AUA staff and trustees. It was then that I decided to provide funding for the program to encourage the development of entrepreneurship in Armenia's rural communities, which would be founded upon the training of participants and monitoring of the funded projects. Today, AUA's Rural Development Program has established over 350 business enterprises, along with training and monitoring centers in the regions of Shirak, Tavush, Vayatsor, Artsakh, and Javakh. The program kept prospering due to Armenian's skillful management, as well as through the committed efforts of the executive board. AUA's board of trustees and AUA president, Dr. Armen Der Gyurerian. In 2017, AUA's Rural Development Program, in collaboration with AUA's Turpanjian School of Public Health, launched the Entrepreneurs in Healthcare Project. This expansion is aimed at helping healthcare professionals to develop private healthcare services and to introduce advanced technologies to Armenia's rural areas. We provide training to rural individuals who are interested in developing businesses. Uh, the training is done through our extension program. They get training in business, in business plan development, basic finance uh, concepts. And so we help them, uh, prepare them in submitting their business plans. Those who come with a realistic business idea are invited to attend a one-month training. The AUA trainers teach them basic concepts of business and entrepreneurship, as well as help them to turn the idea into a bankable business plan. The business plans are presented in front of a jury. The best ones are then recommended for funding through a partnering commercial bank. The bank checks on the credit history of the applicant, evaluates the application, and if approved, issues a subsidized 6% loan without any collateral requirement. My business benefited significantly from the program. We cultivate trout, carp, and other fish. The foundation provides funding and they also keep track of the progress. They make sure you don't take the money and use it for other purposes, which is very important. Providing a loan is only one component. The other is the colossal amount of knowledge that the foundation provides. This method is called drip irrigation, which is very practical and useful. So if a certain nutrient is required for a specific plant, it can be immediately provided using this method. The funding was provided in about six months, in three stages. Once the work was completed, we were able to house larger groups of tourists. At present, we are able to accommodate around 60 to 70 people. 95% uh, of the loans have been paid on time and have been, uh, the, you know, we have uh, re recaptured the, fund, the, the, the capital back and recirculated into the program. People come to us with ideas and we develop a three-week training uh, program, the idea into a business plan. These courses certainly contributed to the expansion of our overall worldview. Pottery is not really developed in Artsakh, and the market is almost vacant. This was the reason we decided to create a pottery business. We applied seven to eight years ago, when we needed additional equipment. Initially, I used the funding provided by the Tupanjian program to acquire the raw material and get started. The equipment I have now allows us to do carpentry of any complexity. As we provide the loan in three stages, in three tranches, we expect the uh, beneficiary to provide evidence that they have uh, uh, stood with their commitments 
That is, they have uh, provided their own part of what is expected of the development of the program. But also that before they get the second part of the loan or the third part of the loan, they provide us with evidence that they have done something good in the community. We visit our beneficiaries on a regular basis and follow up on how things are going, as well as make sure that the business does not present any risk to the surrounding area. They always come and monitor the entire process, from the very beginning until actually being accepted and participating in the program. When they received my application, they came and made a record of what state everything was in, since we were starting from scratch. They offer guidance from the very inception of the idea. They are a very well-educated and professional team. The second program which was started at the uh, sort of encouragement of uh, Mr. Terpanjian was in nagorno karabakh in Artsakh. Now over a hundred businesses in Artsakh have been developed through TRDP. The profile of the people that we get in, in Garapag really changes with this program. The strawberries that I grow are in high demand in our town. It's affordable for them and it's enjoyable for me. Their support and guidance has been profitable for us. At present, I intend to expand the store and I am determined to apply to the Terpanjian program again to get a chance to acquire original automotive parts and expand my turnover. My project was immediately approved and I completed the training. They came here and they saw the space was small, but that I had an operating business. I took the tests and was provided another loan. Now we've constructed the second floor and only need to complete the interior. I intend to make that a beauty salon. Those business plans that have uh, the potential to create greater number of jobs have uh, the capacity to have community impact, wider community impact, and have some innovative component are given higher priority for funding. So we would like to encourage people not to stay with first business adventure or the, their first business uh, operation. We encourage them to go beyond that, come back to us after a year or two and present to us another idea or another extension of the program that they have initiated. This is already my third business. The first project was about expanding and renovating my grocery store. In the second program, I opened a self-service car wash. This is the latest equipment, fully computerized. We offer a variety of products, including bedding. The local villagers are familiar with our work and give us orders which we produce and deliver to them. Village population, village life is the root of the nation. Our roots are in the villages and we rather preserve the one and a half million people in the villages working decently with dignity in developing their uh, economic situation. After long reflections and analysis, we opted for the site that was previously used as a petrol filling station, but decided to renovate and redesign it, as well as open a 24-hour store right next to it. So we applied to the Turpanjian program. Almost 80 to 90 percent of the idea is realized, so we only have to make the finishing touches in order to get started. They explained everything in such a simple and comprehensible way that even a person who has absolutely no idea about business could easily draft a business plan, not to mention that the loan is offered at a low rate. In the year 2000, my dad and I had an idea to develop ourselves an incubator. In 2015, we were able to hatch 5,000 chicks, but we didn't have enough space to expand further. I applied to the Turpanjian program and used the loan to build this barn. Presently, 
I aim to reach 15,000. We learned how to enter the market and how to gain customers. There is a feeling of responsibility to collaborate with each other among the beneficiaries. The tables and chairs of my guest house are made by one of the guys who participated in the program with us from the village of Arpi. The program, of course, as a result of what we do, creates jobs. And job creation in Armenia, it's what deals with as a solution to the major problem of people emigrating from Armenia. And the rural development is important to stop the emigration from the villages. We were able to sell much of what we produce locally, but we have certain arrangements with business partners in Russia as well. This is all done to keep our people and further generations on our native land and to preserve our homeland. I won't leave my country because I can do my work right here, in my homeland. I learned a lot in the field of business management. I always dreamed of having my own business. It's a great program, truly something for the people. Once a rural entrepreneur uh, is selected and gets the funding, then this training continues to make sure that the business succeeds. Uh, so mentoring and training continues throughout that period uh, as the, the business is being developed. We believe that the key to development and success in Armenia is education. By supporting continuing education and greater and better opportunities, in particular for women, we can promote the founding principle of the program, that in order for a business to have any value at all, it should offer value to its community first. <laughs>